Hey guys, it's Christmas soon and I'm filming this last minute video on low waste or zero waste Christmas gift ideas. Maybe this is where our story starts. Maybe <laughs> it's already 4 30 almost 5 so really i only have maybe half an hour of natural daylight and before i dive into my picks really think through your gift idea i think the part of thinking through that idea is also a part of that gift so it's the thought that counts of course it's better to just treat her a meal treat him a meal have fun together instead of buying that gift just for the sake of buying so my first pick is a very gorgeous reusable water bottle because i'm so bad at content planning so i haven't got the actual thing here i saw it at an event which i can show you the footage of it here and as you can see it comes in a range of different colors and you can interchange the caps as well definitely heavier than 24 bottles it's similar weight as swell and they both look absolutely gorgeous it doesn't use copper another thing is that this bottle uses a medical grade stainless steel for me the, the biggest pull is that it's so beautifully designed and if you have a friend who always think that bringing reusable bottles are not cool they don't look nice enough i think this is definitely a good choice for them okay the second pick so i don't have it here but i'll show the photo of it here so it is called Essential Candles. I also ran into the founder at an event and I asked so many questions about what's good about this candle. So this candle is infused with essential oil. They are using beeswax and if I understand from the founder correctly, Delphia, hi, is that when you burn those candles with toxic chemicals, you're also, we're also inhaling those toxic um, guesses. Now I haven't read into it so I can't offer more details but that's what I learned from the founder. They are sourcing from a local bee farm so at least something is sourced locally. Last thing, the container. So they're using glass. When you use up the candles you can take it back to them for refill. It's quite manual right now so you have to like uh, message the the brand but they're also investigating on using a container that is made with bamboo I'm not sure so let's wait for their update so my third pick is soap bars i met crystal um at a workshop i found out about her amazing soap so bars are actually a very good way of reducing plastic bottles some people would choose to use soap to wash their face but it's debatable i mean some people say that the alkalinity in soaps are not good for your skin because it interrupts with your skin ph but our skin can also regulate i mean it's up to them it's easier for people to switch from their normal shower gel liquid to soap bars so I've got several pieces from her. Now I have the actual sample without having to show pictures here and there. So I've got the Sunday Beach Club, the lemongrass peppermint handcrafted soap, cold processed. A lot of effort because cold process takes months. Um, essential oils, natural clays, palm oil free, which is good. You don't want to use palm oil. So it will tell you the main ingredients here the benefits of the soap the full ingredient list i'll link her instagram and all the links here and the name of the soaps in the description box how beautiful is this this should be used on can be used on your body i've got this love me tender this should be used on your this can be used on your face unscented chamomile shea butter i heard from crystal that she's using uh i think 40 percent i'm not sure how much percentage it is but a huge percentage of it the last one that i've got is called the hidden gem and it's himalayan salt with geranium but this one is a little bit special and i remember crystal telling me that this is wrapped in plastic because salt naturally attracts water it makes sense for her to wrap it in some sort of protective layer so this is what makes her skin flawless and I'm excited to try this because she swears by it. 
the bad thing is they come in paper boxes it's not ideal but i think if you visit her at the fair you should totally ask her for a package free option so the next pick is edible got this from a place called about tea i w went to this fair with live well basics just yesterday and i found this amazing tea brand there i will show you a video of it here here is a tea book yeah. so then um when you close it so it's like a book on the shelf once you open it there's six different ingredients so all the ingredients are from all around the world and it also comes with 30 tea bags and also it has a really pretty rose goat spoon so then the whole intention is for the customer to mix and match their blend of the day at different time of the day, um, depending on their mood. And then uh, there's a detail that the designer did was, uh, after you flip open all ah, these so cute. slots, yeah, it has a photo, so it completes like an image. So then she wanted to do this upcycling idea with it. So a lot of customers tell us that after even they finish all the tea, they keep it as like a jewelry box or a small accessory box. What I got from them is a little gift that is even more affordable I bought, got these for two at um, $48 so this tea is called magical coincidence will they tag when I tagged them on Instagram story they reposted it and then put magical coincidence and I thought that they meant we are a magical coincidence but I just found out that it's the name of the tea that I bought so that's why the tin cans are reusable I mean somehow I feel like I'm just arguing the way my way out because I mean I should totally get them without the packaging but these tin cans are totally reusable I can use them to pack my you know earrings when I'm on the go to travel I, my fifth gift ideas are experiences we as a generation are increasingly into experience over physical stuff so I think a gift idea should progress with time you could totally buy them a concert ticket with my sister is spa coupons it's slightly more expensive because you can't get a decent spa under $300 but if that friend is a very close friend of yours and you would like to you would like to give them something a little bit more luxurious and pricey I think a spa coupon is the one to go next idea is something that I would really really like that is books not physical books but kindle book find super handy because when you commute a lot of hong kong people commute right so when you're on the mt or when you're on the bus you don't do anything except playing on your phone and that isn't very productive to listen to audio books or even have a kindle book on your phone so that you can just read on the go for audio books i would pick start with why and the creative curve and these two books really changes how i think of creativity I used to think creativity isn't something for me I mean I'm not a creative but reading that book really le lets me understand and breaks down what creativity really is it's not a myth it's something that is totally explainable and there is I don't know science and logic behind it it's not like someone just thring, and then they have a wonderful idea and that conquered the world these two books are narrated by the author himself so he would know what the important points are and they would adjust the way they read it the last 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 idea is subscriptions was gifted a subscription of the new york times i'm very very happy about it because it's something that i can use for the entire year you can also gift subscriptions on netflix i mean isn't that cool i think it's not that expensive i would last but not least if you don't want to spend anything there is one option for you everybody has their phone so what's better than making DIY in something that they will see every day if that's a dear friend of yours so you can totally go on canvas what's the Adobe app called you can go on canvas and spark post from Adobe to make your own wallpaper or lock screen for your friend so this is the end of all of my suggestions it's filmed super last minute i hope i'm not rushing it through if you like my pics don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have new suggestions comment down below so that everybody can see and grab the gift before christmas hits i'll see you next time bye Feeling alone.